Hey everyone, I wanna make this quick video and give you a very compressed uh, video to talk about the claim process for Coinos. Um, I've already claimed tokens, so what you're gonna see here is kind of different than what you actually experienced, but I'll walk you through it and show you exactly what you should be doing. Uh, it's mostly because I don't have access to claim because I've already claimed my tokens. So the first thing you should do, don't listen to anybody when it comes to links. Always go to coinos.io on your own and get to the claim site by yourself. Be very careful of this because people will try to spoof you. They'll send you a bad link that looks like the claim site. Uh, just don't trust them. You can trust yourself though, but go to coinos.io, all letters, no numbers. So once you get to this main page over here, all you do is go down and click on token claim website. This will bring you to the official claim website that coinos.io is supporting. So there are five steps to this. Some of them are much easier than the others. I'm gonna walk you through the easiest way and along this video, I want you just to make sure you listen to what I'm trying to say, listen to uh, what my explanation is so that you can follow along. So for step one, it says here, connect your MetaMask wallet containing coin ERC20 tokens. You may not have bought coin using MetaMask. You may have purchased it using Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet. Any of these wallets support Uniswap transactions, so you may have purchased through them. If you click on connect MetaMask, then you have to have MetaMask installed. This assumes that you use MetaMask to, uh, uh, to purchase your ERC20 coin tokens. So for me, I have MetaMask installed. So when I click this, I should get a pop-up just like this. It will ask me to sign into uh, MetaMask, which I will do. Okay, now that I've signed in, if this is the first time you're doing this, then you would have to authorize a connection to the website. I already signed in before, so I didn't have that pop up. Um, so for me, no problem here. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to scroll down and you want to take a look at the correct address, the correct number of coin, and you want to see the statement that says that uh, Coinos is ready to be claimed. For me, you can clearly see here it says coins already claimed because I've already completed this process with this particular wallet. Now, once you connect your MetaMask wallet, you just click next. If you did not buy your tokens with MetaMask, use Coinbase Wallet or use anything else, then you would have to click this button, the toggle here, it says set Ethereum address manually. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna bring up a pop-up and you're gonna have to enter your address for Coinos manually and then click next. You don't actually have to click verify. You can if you want to, it will just simply update this field, but you just click next. That's only for people who did not purchase their tokens using uh, MetaMask. So for step two, you should use Condor Wallet to make this easier for you. There is an option here that says set Coinos address manually, which means that you created a Coinos wallet address using either Coinos CLI or for advanced users only, you created a compressed Bitcoin address. You really should not be doing that if you don't know what you're doing. And remember, you do not have to claim. There is no time limit to claiming your coin tokens. You can do this far later in the future. You will still get one-to-one. -one. Coinos Group will accept your claims one, two, three years into the future. This site will always be available for you. So for step two, if you're not willing to use Condor, this video is not for you. But if you are willing to use Condor, click on install condor some of you may have already installed condor from the test net and you were trying it out make sure you stay up to date the latest version of condor is version 0.6 if you have version 0.52 i highly recommend you verify that you backed up your private key for version 5.0.52 and then you install condor uh, uh, version 6 version 0.6 and either create a new address or migrate your old one into new version uh, 0 0.6. However, you should be able to update your Condor without doing that. Your situation may vary a little bit. Just stop, move slowly, think about what you're doing, and make sure you understand what your next steps are. So assuming that you installed the latest version of Condor and you've already created a wallet address, then all you have to do is click Connect Condor. A pop-up will appear and it'll ask you which account you want to connect. You may have one, two, or multiple accounts, but you just click this little box and you click accept. Once you do that, Coinos info at the bottom updates with your address. That's all that happens. Next step is to just click next. All right, so step three depends heavily on what you did in step one. If you connected MetaMask in step one, then all you have to do is click sign with MetaMask. By doing this, once you click it, a pop-up appears and it will ask you to sign a specific message. So once I did that, this specific message says, claim coins 
with my uh, my Ethereum wallet address, a semicolon, and then my Coinos address. All I do is click sign. You'll notice that once I sign, nothing happens. What's actually going on is that there's a whole message that's been signed and it's uh, being saved in the background here. And all you do have to do is click next. If you did not use MetaMask in step one, then you have to toggle the switch, which I will come back to this point later. So just hold on a minute. I'm just gonna complete this step for everyone else. So just click, simply click next here. And then by step four, if you're watching this video, just leave it as is and click next. Now with step five, in step five, for most people out there, leave it as is. All you have to do is click claim coin. So if you click on this button, a condor pop-up will pop up. So here we have a signature and uh, request and send. Sometimes, depending on how many times you've done this, there might be two pop-ups here. One of them hangs a little bit. It's a small bug in the, in the program, not a critical item, just close it out. And you end up with this uh, signature request and send. So what you do here is that you enter your password for your Condor wallet. And what this will do is unlock the private key to the address and then click sign. So enter password, click unlock, then click sign. When you do that, I believe there's another button here. You click next and there's a pop-up here at the bottom, not a pop-up, but like a text that comes up in red that says that this transaction has been submitted to the Coinbase blockchain and is waiting to be mined. If it's successful, it will tell you it's successful. If not, then you're going to get some errors. No matter what error you get, stop everything you're doing and go to coinosblocks.com and enter your address into this field and click search. Sometimes the errors come up, but the claim was actually successful. Then you will see your tokens pop up uh, after you click search. If for some reason you get this thing called NAN mana or not a number of mana, it means the claim was not successful for whatever reason. So going back to this site, you'll see that area pop up here. There's some errors where people run into where the claim was completed, but they didn't go to cornersblocks.com to verify. And then, then when they try to do the claim again, it says the token's been claimed already. So that's why you have to go to cornersblocks.com, check your address because the error might still have allowed you to claim your tokens. There are some other claim errors that you will see, but the majority of them exist because you have an outdated version of Condor update your condor and it's likely that your problems will go away. So we're gonna go back to step three for everyone else who's not using MetaMask or really step one. So in step one, if you didn't sign with, uh, connect with MetaMask, you would toggle the switch to the right and you would get an option here to insert your token address. All you wanna do if you're using Trust Wallet or Coinbase Wallet is insert your Coinbase Wallet or Trust Wallet uh, address into this area click verify, it will update the information down here just like as if you connected it with MetaMask. After you do that, click next. Step two, same thing as before, connect with Condor. And then for step three, this is where things differ a little bit. Because you're not using MetaMask in step one, you have to toggle the switch here, sign with a different wallet. When you click here, you will notice that this pink area says, go to my Ether wallet and sign with the following message. Now in this space here, you paste in the message that you've signed already. This red portion here, this magenta color message, is not the signed message. So how do you do this? All right, again, this is only for people who are not using MetaMask. So you go to my Ether Wallet link right here, you click on this guy, and it'll come up with a pop-up. And in this pop-up, you get a couple options to sign in with. I can't run through this thing fully with you, so you just have to uh, listen carefully. If you're using Trust Wallet, you should click the mobile apps down here, which is the fourth box from the top. Do not use encrypt. I'm actually not sure what that is, but you want to click on mobile apps and wallet connect. Wallet connect will allow you to connect your trust wallet to my ether wallet. And then what you want to do is then copy this message into the verify space. Take a look at my medium article. Actually, I'll just pop that right now. I have a medium article that says a uh, complete guide to uh, claiming tokens right here. What you want to do is click on mobile apps and wallet connect, then sign in with your trust wallet. And then you end up with this screen over here on this screen. There's a particular portion of my ether wallet that has message. Click that something drops open and then click on sign message. Then this box opens up. What you want to do is copy and paste this pink message into this box and then click sign. Once you do that, you will get a result out of that signed message, which should look like, uh, 
this right here. So once you have the message signed, click the copy button and you'll grab all of this message and then you want to dump it into this paste signature here, which you know, I don't have anything pasted, uh, but you paste it there and you click next. I get an error here because I haven't signed it yet, but once you do that, steps four, five, same thing, submit the message through Condor and you should be golden. For Coinbase wallet users, you're a little bit different. For Coinbase wallet users, you have to download the Coinbase wallet extension. It is an extension for the desktop browser available on Chrome. I'm not sure if it's available on anything else, but that allows you to sign into your Coinbase wallet on desktop with your mobile device. And with that option, you go back to my Ether wallet. Um, and for you guys, you want to click browser extension instead. So Coinbase wallet, browser extension, trust wallet, mobile apps. And when you do that, you end up with this pop-up very similar to uh, MetaMask. And again, uh, I have this claim token. T uh, well, for this particular example, it says T coins because I wrote it when it was for T coins. Uh, but for you, it was a claim coins and I'll have the same information that you copied from this area. Just click sign and you'll run through the process just like everyone else. And you should have no problems signing and claiming your tokens this way. I hope that helps you guys. And if, again, you have any questions, feel free to, you know, access the telegram, the official telegram using the official link, Cornerside.io, and reach out to us. All right. Take care, guys, and have fun.